Hi, this is Mark with Rock. I'm going to show you how to connect to your SV9100 using PC Pro. PC Pro is a program that you can connect to your system, download all this programming from your system into the program, make a change, and then upload it. I do not use it for live programming. It's used to give you a big picture of the system. I use it all the time when I'm uh, installing and initially programming systems, but I rarely use it for simple things like ch maybe changing a name or changing a button on a phone. For that, I use the Web Pro, which is in another video. So here we are. Here's the program, SV9100. This one happens to be for the CP20, and it's the PC Pro. We're going to fire it up. The username is NECII. The password is 47544. 47544. And that just opens the program. That's not to connect to the system. So once you're here, again, this is an, a program that isn't live. You have to download all the information. So I'm going to connect to the system. If you don't have an account already saved here, you have to enter the processor's IP address, the username, and the password. I have one made for this location, so I'm going to connect to it. Here's the IP address, the username, and the password that I've assigned it that I'm not going to give out. So I'm clicking on connect. The system has, my program has connected to my system but I don't have any of the system information in my program yet. So up here in the top left, you can see the download icon. Click on that, and you're going to select all. You will get all the information. And I've started the process. This process will take about 54 seconds. It depends on the size of the system and how much information you've uh, programmed into it. While we're doing this, again, this is not live programming. You have to download system, soft, uh, system programming, make a modification, and then upload. Be very careful. That make sure you always download the program or the programming out of the system into this. Uh, you could, if you do it wrong, you could upload something, blank something out, and that's not good. We're just about done. Getting very close. And we're done. So we've downloaded all the programming from the phone system into this PC Pro. Click on close. And you can see from the initial screen, I have, uh, it shows my system here, it shows the multi line keys, the ports that they're in, ports 1 through 24, shows the extension numbers that I've programmed, has the uh, single lines ports right here, and the extension numbers I've programmed, the voicemail, uh, the virtual extensions that I've put in the system, so some basic information there, and it gives me the uh, software version as well, all through here. This is the PC Pro, and this is the actual phone system. Down here at the bottom, we have the Standard tab, the Easy, easy Edit tab, and the System Data. I've never used the system, the Standard mode, uh, the Easy Edit. I've only used during the initial setting up of a system when I use the initial wizard uh, for some reason. I always use the System Data. You can see here's the headers for the individual programs and if I expand all it's a lot. You can see there's a lot of stuff in there but most of it you don't have to worry about. That's the best part. And if you hit collapse all it goes back down. If I click on the cards I can actually see a picture of the system. This has the possibility of four cabinets, main chassis being on the bottom and you can see how the system is carded out and the port numbers. The port numbers are important. I'll get into that in another video. But it tells you, if you're looking at a card, here's the main processor and it has an IP card on it. 
that's what it's telling me right there next one is a 16 port digital card ports 1 through 16 another one ports 24 or 20 or 17 through 24 and up here we're going to see that this is an 8 port analog card with an 8 port expansion card and here's our port numbers same here 8 ports expansion port and then uh, here's your port numbers again this is just one 8 port analog card and it's ports 57 through 64 and then we have the trunk cards starting with trunks 1 through 4 5 through 12 13 through 20 Here's a chassis view. I don't ever use it. I don't need to use it, but uh, if someone feels I need a little bit better view for whatever reason, if you click on it, you're looking again, you look at the picture of the system and you're clicking on the cards, it's telling you the th the three cards, card one, card two, card three, card one, or excuse me, card one, card two. Uh, card three is I guess it's three right there, maybe. So here we have yeah, one and th yeah, that's probably what it is. So we have the extension numbers. Here's our extension ports. Uh, this is just telling me that this, you've actually connected a telephone to this. And if I click on these, I get the information up here. It'll tell me port two, the extension number, the name on the phone. And if you want to, it'll show you some more information. Again, I don't really ever use this, but it might be handy to somebody else. All right, click on home. Uh, you need to set the time. Click on this. It gets the time off your computer, and you can set it that way. Really, that's all I'm going to show you in this particular video. Uh, going back down to, um, let's see, making a program change. I'll make a quick program change just to give you a quick overview of it, something being changed. We click on 15, 1501. We have we're currently in form view. We're looking at one extension right here. And if I do the pull down, let's see, I'm looking at extension 1101. It's a multi-line. It's port one. It's in chassis one, slot two. Here's my name on my phone. If I want to change it to something different it in. I can hit apply here, but the change has not been uploaded to the phone system. So now I have to upload it. Click on the red upload. And what I use is the, <clears throat> the third one over. It just says show only data that needs to be uploaded. So there's my change. I hit start. <clears throat> and it is uploaded and complete. Majority of the time the update takes place. However, there are some programs that you have to disconnect from the system for the processor to fully make the change. Majority of the phone stuff with buttons and names you don't have to disconnect. But other programs to take full effect you must disconnect. It will it will get you occasionally if you if you make some kind of change and it needs to be disconnected and you don't you're like hey it didn't work well you just need to disconnect up here from the system this is again this is a uh, form view if you click on grid view it gives you a bigger picture here's my extension 1101 where I change the name uh, if I use a slide over I'm looking at all the programming that's in that form view but it's just in a grid view now. So it's kind of handy when you need to look down and look at numbering and stuff like that. So I can go ahead and make the change here as well. I'll just send it back to what it was. Hit apply. Upload. Click on my third one over. Show only data that needs to be uploaded. Hit start. close and we're good. I can disconnect at this time. If I'm done with all my uploading and changes. And
and I can save this file to a location and I, I, like, I like putting dates with mine it's up to you if you want to do that but that's to me it's handy save it to a location and I can actually uh, if I close this out I can go to my programs and I can find that and I can open it up offline same password any it's uh, username is NECII password to open the program is 47544 and it'll open the program and I can review it sometimes what I do is if I'm working in two systems I've made a change in one I might slide it to one side to another monitor and then go help me figure out where I was at in another system I can reference it later here's all my again all my programming and go check out look at it and it's all there you can even email the file so it's very handy all right if you have any questions feel free to contact us at the help desk it's helpdesk at shawrock.com s-h-o-t-r-o-k.com thanks